Krutawa Eva's Sweet, a Cape Jazz poem in three movements. The woman speaks. My tears spill down the flank of Devil's Peak. My breath is the cloth that sets Huriquajo's table. I am the one who invites you to eat. I am the one who invites you to eat. I am the child of two gods. My heart is a Hollander, but my soul prays to hate Siep. I am the one whose bones are strong enough to carry the weight of two skins. I am the one whose mouth is supple enough to hold the secrets of two tongues. If you meet me in the felt, know my feet have already returned to the fort. If you meet me inside the castle, know my heart has already returned to the dunes. No matter who I tell you I am, do not. Believe me, no matter who I tell you I am, I am always only half of myself. Kratoa Eva's Riff 1 now scrabbling hands, scratch hard, scratch hard, scratch hard to return to my womb, clamber, clamber down the mess of roots to clasp each one in turn, running, 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 running their fingers along the knotted tubers and threads until they find the radical that tapers back, that tapers back to me. A child is renamed. Work first, then eat. We whistle watermen then, when the white man came ashore. Work first, then eat. I worked in the kitchen with the cook. The books will tell you I was only six. Work first, then eat. Wet sand to scrub out the pots for the taste of sweet meat on my tongue. Work first, then eat. Little Eva, he called me. Little Eva, naked body, naked mind. Work first, then eat. Wet sand to clean out the plates, boiled felt fruits on my tongue. Work first, then eat. Wet sand to scrub in a new name, sip of arrack to wash away the old one. Work first, then eat. A bite of bread and cheese to soften my Corina clicks. Work first, then eat. A sugar cube to slacken the jaw, enough to hold the white man's words. Work first, then eat sugar in my blood there is sugar in my blood my tongue is split in two uncle you carried me into the white man's house you washed my face with the rain i was shivering so you took me to sit by his fire you promised food Uncle, why does the white man wear funny clothes? Sorry, Uncle. I know it's not funny, but I can't help. Sorry, Uncle. Yes, Uncle. Why is his hair so long, Uncle? And when he speaks, how come his tongue doesn't click? Why does he call me little Eva? Can I have the sugar cubes, Uncle? I'm so hungry. Thank you, Maester. Uncle, must I stay here? Okay. Yes, Uncle. I will. Uncle, you carried me into the white man's house for a pouch of tobacco, for a tot of brandy. And now I wash and dress his children. I eat quietly at his table. I pray to his God. Eva's Ruff One What grammage must a sheet of paper be to hold the weight of silence and all that is left unsaid? Kratoe Eva's Ruff Two I wanted to break the cage of bone and flesh, smash it like wave on rock, smash it like wave on rock, until I could reach through to touch the other part of me where silence lives. Eva returns to the Van Riebeck house. 
Your fingers probe my story from a distance. Write me with the voice of victim, of innocent, of naive little girl. Foster child, welcomed, you say, into the commander's house when I slept in a room with Lisbeth and Cornelia. Hear me now. I am the silent water burning in every woman of this land. I am the spent wave receding, emptying the shore, becoming ocean again. Beware my return. A woman's voice is the fulcrum of war. You are the white man's bitch, Kratoa. And you, uncle, you are a dried-out caross, hanging over selfish bones. Look at you, greed scars your face, and you have nothing to show for it. No cattle, no land, no power. You left me here, you. You left me here, you and Doman and Udasoa left me here to sway my curves in the enemy's face. And now that I have power, you want to curse me? Look at you, useless old man, driving your words through my eyes like arrows. Yes, I had you banished to Robin Island. Go back to Batavia. Go back to England. Look at you, twitching like a cricket for a sip of wine. You pathetic huddle of old bones, get out of my sight. Eva, don't add your own words. Just tell me what he said, just like I taught you. Meister, he insults me in your home and you expect me to say nothing. You, who watches your men watch me but do nothing to protect me from their groping, prying hands. You, who stands tall in the Lord's house on Sunday, swaying in the stench of your own importance, then plots to kill my people over Sunday lunch. You drive us off our land, steal our cattle, and with the same breath give praise to God. The blood is caked on your hands. You need my ears, you need my tongue for your dream of cattle power. So do not tell me how to speak. I will not be quiet in the face of men's insults. I will not swallow curses without a fight. You will not twist my names. Eva's Riff too. I lie prostrate across your blank pages. How they hold me. How they remember the shape of my name. The one not uttered in this life. How they sing this name back to me. Stirring. How they sing this name back to me. Stirring. Stirring in the silence of grass that still remembers how to breathe. Kratoa Eva's Roof 3 I am not the benign mother of your lost ancestry. I am the raised voice, slicing through dead fainbos, orange and magenta tongues licking furious at the stems of your legs lapping at all that dares to flatten them. I am the woman of rage and righteousness. Wrap your labels like bandages around my limbs, but I have no wounds. Plaster me with your ideologies to hide the truth of my dark skin. Make a ball with the smallest words and place it in my mouth to silence, to silence, to silence. My heart clicks knocking, knocking, knocking against the truth of your violence. Death. One. Ochimau Ngai. Udasoa. No one sung the prayer of grieving into my lungs. Where are the women's voices? Where are the women's breaths to push into me and teach me how to pull the tears from my limbs? I do not know how to pull the tears from my limbs. 
I cannot tell you where the bodies are buried. I cannot tell you where the bodies are at rest. Are they at rest? Ochimao Ngai Udasawa Are you at rest? My dreams are empty of your voices. My days are filled with your faces. I am alone. I try to sing the prayer over my own wounds. I try to sing the prayer into my own lungs. I do not know how. How do I grieve without the land which birthed me to hold the weight of my tears? How do I grieve alone? Salt cannot become water without the heat of bodies pressed together in mourning. Two, Peter. My eyes catch a glimpse of the shore. A boat arrives from the mainland. The man walks slow to our door. My hand pulls our girl to my waist. The man holds his hat in his hand. His words draw tears down her face. On some other shore lies my grief, next to the body of a man in whose heart I once found peace. Who is at rest? How much blood can soil drink before it suffocates? Robin Island, one, deserted. Even the southeaster stays away now, but her curves rove and return to shore. Look how she conspires with moon to soften the appearance of her folds. No one speaks of her barrenness, her vast, unending nothingness, stealing men away to their dreams, luring them further and further until she seduces them across her hips, always trying to make herself fertile. Give me a fluid coaxing, and I will crash into his stone body, lure him back into this once warm love. When his back is turned in sleep, I will sing a strangle of notes against the granite of his limbs, lapping, lapping, crashing and receding, and crashing, lapping, until he is shaped only by my will. But no, the hips of her horizon held more sway. Liquescent too. Slow, slink of skin, stretch of tongue soft against unreachable swaths of skin. Stretch of tongue, tonguing unreachable swaths of skin. Such sin, such sin against skin thin and tongue fat and thick against skin. Sinning against skin, sinning tongue, stretching slow, sliding soft on silent swaths of skin and mouths. Suckling mouths, suckling secret nipples. Lust is the only room in the body to which men entrust their honesty. Slow, stretch of tongue, against unreachable swath of skin, stretch of tongue, tonguing unreachable swaths of skin, such sin, sin against skin thin and tongue fat and, against skin sinning, sinning tongue stretching, silent swaths of skin and mouth suckling, suckling, Nipples. There are no homes to be found in the rooms made by men's arms and legs. Stretch of tongue against unreachable. Skin stretch of tongue tonguing. Sin. Sin against skin. Against skin sinning. Sinning tongues. Silent mouths. Suckling nipples. The moon spits in my face, laughs at my desire to become liquid like her. Three, foresight. They say I am the reason the wind no longer blows. The Kowinas say I am the reason the seasons stand still. 
The Dutch say I am the reason the ship stands still. Now I am Eva in my garden deserted. Now I am Kratoa wrapped in a caross of no warmth. Only Aetiep knows what is to come. My children will turn the silence of their backs to me. The clerk, Kruger, Smuts will all deny the sweetness of my name. In their blood. Writhe. This body is a house whose walls keep shifting. Rooms rebuild and destroy themselves. I wake up, I wake up to find myself washing last night's grey lace bra in the kitchen sink. My bed, my bed, my bed steals sleep from me. The wall disintegrates into 100,000 bats. Their wings, their wings break open from the peeling pasta. Their squawks follow me to the cocoon of the front door. The morning I first saw silken thread weaving across its frame, I swiped it away like an oversized cobweb. I opened the door to leave. When I returned, I could not push it open with my bruised, with my bruised, with my bruised shoulder and hip. I climbed the wall until I was only a tumbling mess, a tumbling mess of bone and bone and bone and limbs on the kitchen floor. I went to repair the door, but no screwdriver could undo the woven mess. I wake up in the bathtub, immovable against the jab of taps. Water drips, water drips onto my forehead. Water, water drips, water drips onto my forehead. I do not, I do not, I do not sing. Kratoa Eva's Roof 2 Reprise. I wanted to break the cage of bone and flesh, smash it like wave on rock until I could reach through. I could reach through to the other part of me where silence lives. Kratoa Eva dreams of Ochumau. I have come to fetch you, child. He is dead, but I see his face. E komo mi ota hal meikant. I have come to fetch you, child. He is dead, but I touch his hand. I have come to fetch you, child. I am ready, Ochumao. My children. Remember to place a stone on the can for Hitsiep.